Andy Gray when you need him. He would have been in his, what a hit son, element at Anfield. It is nearly two decades since Gray uttered his most famous sentence when Steven Gerrard thumped the wonder goal against Olympiacos that saved Liverpool's Euro dream. Few have come close since, and none have had such a devastating impact as that thunderbolt which ended with Champions League glory in Istanbul. Yet the net-busting rocket from Alexis McAllister to get the Reds back in front just when their title dream was slipping away certainly did. The 20-yard power blast rescued a game they should have strolled, but were in serious danger of blowing against the Premier League's basement boys to boot. Forget Cody Gakpo's 88th-minute header. That made things look a whole lot easier than they were for such a huge chunk of the ultimate squeaky bum second half. Read more on football caught offside Prem star caught cheating by wife who saw him with model on doorbell camera best bets best betting sites including odds, sign-up offers and free bets it was the jaw-dropping strike which nearly took the roof off the cop which was the real difference. Jurgen Klopp knew it, Mac Allister's teammates knew it, the whole of Anfield knew it. So, too, did every one of a Manchester City and Arsenal persuasion. Connor Bradley's bolt from the blue own goal looked destined to give Sheffield United the unlikeliest point of their lives, and hand Liverpool's title rivals a dare not dream shot in the arm. Bradley had turned Gustavo Hamer's innocuous and harmless header across the cop box beyond his own keeper, and the game the Reds looked certain to romp had suddenly become an embarrassing cock-up. Most read in football point break prem, may scrap points deductions with new system paving way for big transfers swap shop transfer recommendations for GW30 familiar favourites and smart differentials geo dropping Newcastle, want ex Arsenal ace in shop transfer, to replace Guimarães caught offside prem star caught cheating by wife who saw him with model on doorbell camera then suddenly, with panic aplenty in every corner of this most famous of arenas, the ball dropped to Mac Allister lurking on the edge of a packed penalty area. The Argentine midfielder will never strike a sweeter ball than the thumping drive which flew past Ivo Grubic and into the top corner. Liverpool preparing transfer for next Mo Salah, but face competition for £51 million sign tracked Frankfurt star they have witnessed some wild celebrations here over the years. They have enjoyed some never-to-be-forgotten European nights. The second Mac Allister's rocket rippled the net, nearly took it from its moorings more like, will live as long in the memory as any of them. Best free bet sign-up offers for UK bookmaker because up to that point it was seriously threatening to become an evening they looked back on for all the wrong reasons. Quite how it had come to that, only Liverpool will know, to be honest. They may have needed a freak goal to go ahead, but until Harmer and Bradley's unlikely combo, it was a lead they never came close to losing. A goal that will give Blades keeper Gribic plenty of horror moments of his own, too, and totally out of nowhere. When Jack Robinson rolled a ball back to him from just inside his own half, there wasn't even a hint of danger. Sure, Darwin Nunez set off to close him down.
but the Uruguayan striker's gallop was more token than top speed. Maybe that was the problem. If the Croatian keeper had been hurried into a slash downfield, the chances are he'd have saved his blushes. Yet he dithered and dawdled until eventually Nunez was upon him, and you can guess the rest. The Reds forward actually had his back to the ball when Grabic got rid, and couldn't believe his luck as it struck him and rolled apologetically into the empty net. Hardly one for any goal of the season compilation, but when you're chasing the title, as priceless as a 30-yard screamer. On the touchline, Blade's boss Chris Wilder spun on his heels and let out the most helpless and heartfelt of sighs. You know what they say about everything going against you when you're down. And with a combination of luck and laziness like that, it's only a matter of time before they are. From then on it was surely a case of how many. The Blades cleared it, Liverpool attacked. But ominously they kept wasting the openings. And when the lead is a single goal, there is always some hope however faint and flickering. And as long as the blades were in touching distance, they had a prayer. One that was rewarded 12 minutes after the break when the blades took a puncher's chance swing and caught the red squarely on the chin. Harmer set things rolling with a marvellous ball swung to James McCatty, on loan from Manchester City, on the right flank and 10 yards in the opposition half. His delivery, a looping, swirling cross beyond the far post, was even more impressive, with Liverpool suddenly woefully short of numbers. Palmer leapt to head across goal, Bradley stuck out a leg and it bobbled between Keeve and Callagher. Read more Sun Storiesdine and Cashwoman Sparks debate by saying she asks for service charge to be removed SP Ritzy Molly May shows off one pound. Nine K perfume collection despite being slammed for showing off suddenly it was all square. Suddenly the title was drifting away. Suddenly Mac Allister appeared from nowhere like a caped crusader to save the day. What a hit son indeed. Gartpo's header may have given a bit of closing stages breathing space, but that was the moment it all changed again. Next stop Old Trafford, 